Okay. So, David Schrader and I um, have worked together the last time when I was a junior undergrad at Indiana University, and he was a doctoral student. And do you remember what we played? We played the Haydn D major keyboard concerto on uh, a doubt harpsichord, which we rested down from the third floor. And um, uh, I yeah, just remember I had a lot of fun with the performance, and I improvised a cadenza. You improvised a whole lot more than the cadenza. You <laughs> a lot of uh, ornamentation. Do you remember what time the performance was? No, I don't. Did we have a 10 o'clock? It was a 10 o'clock at night. I, 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 I should have remembered that. I always remember the 10 o'clock. We're talking about you. late 1970s, folks. <laughs> um, and did it start at 10 o'clock? I don't think so. Why not? Was I still tuning? You were still I tuning. I was still tuning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the story of my life. I've gotten way better, you know, in the years since then. I always make sure I'm tuned before anyone walks in the room, but yeah. We started at 10 20 or something like that. Oh my like gosh. That. Well, um, I, you know, I recall a fun time. It you was. Know, you've, uh, I remember I was, I was very impressed. The first thing I ever saw you conduct was the Colas Brunel Richard Kotlewski. First thought, thing ever. Yeah, and I thought, you know, this guy's got a lot of style and a lot of vigor. Oh, well, yeah, so it's great to see you turn up in the professional world. And all I knew was, here's a fancy um, doctoral student that everybody knows walking around like King of, King of the Hill ah. in Indiana. So that's, well, I'm so glad that you're working with us now. Absolutely. You know, it, uh, it's wonderful. I love this piece. I kind of love all the pieces on the program, but the, uh, I think maybe better than anything else. Poulenc once said that there's half of him that's a gutter snipe and there's half of him that's a monk, and the concerto's got them all in it. Um, you know, the minute you've had a moment of absolute sublime serenity, suddenly you're on an insane merry-go-round ride again. And, uh, but then that last part, you know, there's nothing more beautiful than maybe the finale of the dialogue of the Carmelites without the guillotine. Okay, now, I have one question for you. Yes. Uh, our rehearsal started at 7.15, and on the way to the hall, I was listening to you play live on WFMT, a uh, world premiere that mm -hmm. ended at 6.30. You obviously raced over here, sat yourself down on an organ that you haven't seen before, mm -hmm. and within minutes you started a rehearsal and working all the stops. How are you able to do that? Just a lot of experience, I think. One is I've lived with the Poulenc Concerto, and uh, I, it's kind of like going into a good you know, kitchen. You sort of know where everything is. And if you can't find the exact ingredient you need, you can certainly find a substitute. And uh, you'll beat around the bush a little bit, but the most important thing is, you know, that we just get it together as an ensemble piece. And uh, I'll have refined a little bit uh, on Saturday, but things, you know, were pretty much just as I expected to find. So it's really nice. Well, we're looking forward to a wonderful concert on Sunday. Me too. Uh, you know, I was going to ask, but I don't need to do this for Facebook. Um, <laughs> 